Roger, we are green light for extraction. Ammo weapons resupply inbound. Lies on HVT, going loud. Welcome back to Air Split on Demand. I'm Jake. And I'm Kelly. And today we're going over the Wii G18C gas blowback. Get this guy for $99.99. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I don't know, I'm kind of thrown through a loop on this one. I really like this pistol uh, compared to, they, they say, that the KSC G18 or even like a Token Rui G18C. Uh, I like this one a lot more. I think they did a really good job with this. Um, so if you could please tell us what kind of specifications this thing has on it. So with this gun, we've got a barrel length of 5 inches and an overall length of 8 inches. So good size. Um, we've got a full metal slide um, and you're also going to get um, three interchangeable back straps, integrated rail system, and a threaded barrel. And one of the best features about this gun is that it's going to fire in semi-auto and full auto. Yeah. Probably one of the selling features on all G18Cs, I have to say. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I've always had issues with on, on say, other manufacturers' uh, G18s is the fact that there's a pin that holds the select fire in place. And when that pin flies out the back, you're kind of SOL uh, trying to figure out, you know, trying to keep your select fire in place without it, you know, misfiring or not functioning at all. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. And in fact, it seems to be a lot more efficient and sturdy, and you can actually switch it, you can change it on the fly without having to adjust anything or pull the slide back or whatnot. So um, that, really, that, that really impresses me. I really like that. Uh, it's got a sturdy feel. Uh, you know, when we first got these into stock, we ran, we ran our test pistol pretty hard without any uh, malfunctions in between. So a lot more, I'd say a lot better quality than say KSC. And, on top of that, it's only $99.99, so you're getting a better pistol for less. So if that doesn't tell, if that doesn't say anything to you, then you need to get your priorities straight. <laughs> so as far as Glocks go, this is a Generation 4 frame, so it is polymer, but you are going to have uh, these grips here for your fingers. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I kind of like the original Gen 1, where it's just straight down the side and it feels nice, but. Uh, you know, I know some guys complain, especially when wearing gloves with those ridges getting in the way. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I think it feels great. I think it's very comfortable. And having the ability to swap out back straps is very, very convenient. I actually like this one a lot more than, say, their G17 model. Uh, the fact that it's actually incredibly reliable as far as as far as the select fire goes, I would run this in place of a G17 any day of, or the Wii G17 any day of the week. You know, if I want to be able to go have that option of going on full auto when I have to. But also knowing that it can function in semi-automatic just fine without any without any uh, issues. That's that says a lot about it. Um, you know, I like having more options available, especially when stuff hits the fan. <laughs> Alright, guess a little bit of wild inconsistencies with the Wii G eighteen C, but for the most part you should be getting velocity between three hundred and three hundred and fifteen feet per second. Hey guys, this is Thor, and this is Airsplat.com's Accuracy Proven Guarantee. We have an excellent grouping here based on our Accuracy Proven Guarantee. And for the bigger picture of Accuracy Proven, photos, manuals, and more, check out this gun on Airsplat.com. All right, so uh, just to give a final opinion, as far as appearance goes, I know 
it looks great, you know, even though I know the slide is almost like a two-tone compared to the, uh, the frame, but for the most part, I think it's actually a pretty nice looking pistol. Um, even having some of these trademarks that they have on the side, just adds that much more to it. Uh, very, very realistic. Even going into the, the cuts on the top for the muzzle compensator, like, that's, I don't know, that's pretty amazing. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's not functioning on this model, but still, you know, you know it, looks pretty, it looks pretty good for a G18C. Uh, as far as functionality goes, again, that goes goes side by side with durability. Um, I love the fact that the select fire on this is very, very reliable, and it's not going to go down like it does on other brands. Um, and then having, being able to do it on the fly without having to adjust anything, just with a simple thumb movement, like that's easy manipulation that um, I, I find to be very, very important. Even left or right handed, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It's still a very easy pistol to manipulate. And of course, with being it being uh, we, I found them to be very, very uh, durable, I should say. Uh, you know, they can take a beating, and this model, is like, like I said before, you know, we ran our test pistol pretty hard before we got a failure. I want this. <laughs> I want it so bad. <laughs> as far as overall value goes, I mean, it's ninety nine ninety nine. I mean, that's how much they charge for it. I mean, that's the retail value of, you know, a lot of their other pistols that they have. You know, but this one actually has a full auto capability. That's definitely something I would totally keep in mind uh, if you're looking at picking up a, a pistol of some sort. So my overall opinion, starting with appearance, um, again, I didn't notice the uh, two-tone, but I do like it. Um, it looks pretty sleek, pretty good looking gun. Uh, as far as functionality goes, we already mentioned that it's an incredibly easy to use um, gun, which I love. You also have the uh, the rails so you can put on a laser, a flashlight, anything you'd like. You do have a threaded barrel, so if you do want to throw on a silencer, quiet mode, <laughs> you can do that if you want. And with the three adjustable back straps, uh, you can fit it to whatever's comfortable for you. And for my, especially for like my monster hand and stuff, <laughs> it is a you know nice feature to have. And with the sight, you're going to have really good target acquisition is also a nice feature. As far as durability goes, it's it's light, but it's strong and sturdy. And uh, for the value, for uh, $99.99, you know, it doesn't get much better than that. I think that's one of you know, the best features about this gun is the value. For everything you get for that price, I, I don't think you can go wrong. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Air Splat On Demand. I'm Jake. And I'm Kelly. And we'll see you next time. I feel like I got a sneeze. It's not <laughs> I'm like trying to hold it back, but then I'm like, I'm not actually, it's not actually coming out, so it feels really awkward. Um, what I like about this one is even if I'm running a, running a 